Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this little wig that I'm wearing right here. This little flapper 20 style kind of hairdo. Um, her name is Sila and she is by Outre. I really like the color, the blonde 613 color there. Now this wig you can wear in two different styles. You can leave her the way she comes out of the box, which is more of a straight down like big finger wave type situation to me. And then you could use her up kind of like how I have her now to make her a little fuller. Um, the color I have is DR2 BLBRNSU. So I know that's DR2 uh, Blonde Brown. I'm not sure what the SU is, but yeah. It's like a good strawberry blonde. I think the color is absolutely gorgeous. So if you want to see what I think of Miss Sila and how I got to this little look, come on back. cut off the lace and the tag and we're gonna see how she looks so this is her this this wig is well any wig pretty much you can do more than one thing with but this one is showing on the card on the stock card that you can either leave it this way the way she comes or you can frizz her up a little bit like zhuzh her up I really think she looks pretty here I think she looks beautiful there too but I'm really liking this but I don't feel like she looks exactly like that. Similar, but not exactly. Um, let me tell you, this is Outre Lace Front, Swiss Lace Eye Parting in the style Sila in the color DR2 BLB RNSU, which I'm thinking is blonde, brown, and I'm not sure what the SU is for, but there you go. And um, she does come in other colors. And there they are on the back. And yeah, so this is her. It's like a nice golden strawberry blonde. I think it's really pretty. I do think that these two sides are a little different, if you can tell. They look a little different. So I think she's really cute like this, but I do think I'm gonna go ahead and just her up. But let me do a 360 of the wig this way first. So obviously the front side, back, other side, and the front. So that is how she's looking. So I really think this reminds me of an old uh, 50s glam movie star kind of hair, Marilyn Monroe-ish. So um, let me show you the part. The part is pretty, pretty good. I don't think you really need to put anything in the part. It could use a little bit of plucking right here at the front. Um, it does come with baby hairs. There are baby hairs in there. I showed those to you earlier. I can never find them when I want them. <laughs> but, but it did have baby hairs. I just don't understand where they always go. They always disappear on me. But anyway, it did have baby hairs. So I'm going to go ahead and judge her up a little bit because I want to see how she looks a little separated. Ooh, I'm already liking her better. Oh yeah, I really like her judged up. That's the tea. That's the tea right there. And I'm not going to do too much because I don't want to disturb the curl pattern too much. But I think she's really cute like this. I do think I like her a little bit more when she's judged. That is very, very cute. Oh yeah, 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 me like it, me like it, me like it. It's kind of like big finger waves. That's how I would describe this hair. She definitely has a few flyaways. 
Um, that's to be expected pretty much with most wigs. Um, she is shedding. And uh, ooh, I did cut into the lace in one spot a little much. So that's probably what all that's coming from. I don't know if you can see it, but she is shedding. So we'll see if she keeps shedding or if it slows down. Because usually the shorter wigs don't tend to shed as much as the longer ones do, but this one, she's doing her thing. <laughs> she is like getting ready for the summer and shedding all her hair. <laughs> And the funny thing is, she's a perfect summer wig. Oh, but look how when I just ran my fingers through it, how she kind of went right back. I didn't think that was gonna happen. I'm kind of impressed with that. Usually when you disturb the pattern, when it's something like this and you zhuzh it up, it doesn't go back exactly, but this is exactly the way it came out of the box. <laughs> that kind of impresses me. Yeah, so if you wanna do either way, you can get away with it. But I do like her zhuzhed up. It gives me that uh, flapper look. That's what I'm thinking of. I think it's very cute. I really like the color. It's a very, very pretty strawberry blonde to me. Let me zhuzh up the back and show you what she's gonna look like from the back zhuzhed. And I think what you could do is spray her with some hairspray once you zhuzh her, because I have a feeling she's gonna come back into the same style. So zhuzh her up with a little hairspray just to keep her full, so she doesn't really get flat too quick. I really think this is a cute wig. It's a perfect, perfect wig for summer. So there she is on the side, fluffed out. Back, the other side, and back to the front. I've got hair all over me. Ooh, big hunks. <laughs> She's shedding a lot. Shedding a lot. I have a lot of hair here. <laughs> but like I said, I did cut into the lace in one spot a little much. So I think that's probably the problem. So um, let me show you the lace. The lace is definitely, definitely a soft Swiss lace. It's very soft, very flimsy. And I did notice that it tended to kind of want to curl right here which doesn't surprise me. When they're really, really super soft, they tend to do that. Um, the hairline, the hairline looks okay. It's not pre-plucked or anything. It looks like a typical lace front wig to me. Um, you know, it looks kind of natural. I'm not hating it. Now here are all these little baby hairs now that I don't want them in my face. They're all up here in the middle of the hair, which I don't like. I'm just gonna kind of pull some of them out because I don't really use baby hairs that much, so I'm not really bothered by that. Pulling them out, I don't really use them as much as some people do. I think they're very cute, I'm just not that good at them. So, yeah, so this is Miss Sela. Not Miss Sealy, like color purple, but Sela. Sela, Sela, I think it's Sela. And uh, yeah, I would have to say, there's not a whole lot to say about this wig. I think the shedding has kind of slowed down. Oh, definitely. Yeah, a little, I'm getting a little. Now it's like normal shedding, not even getting any out every time I pull through. So I think that definitely was because I cut the lace. So be careful when you cut your lace. I definitely have to say that I like this wig. I think it's perfect for the summer, like I said. I think she's very, very cute. Um, I really like it. I will definitely get my wares out of this wig. The texture is definitely silky. It's not any kind of yakky, in my opinion. It's definitely silky. But um, I do see some pretty little highlights in here. I do like the way they highlighted it. I don't know if you can see it that well but I do really like these highlights. I love the strawberry blonde color. I think this wig is very cute. It lays flat up here. I don't feel like I need to put any heat on it. The cap is definitely big head friendly. It has a lot of room in it. I feel like I had no issues getting it on my head. It does have the uh, ear tabs, the bendable ear tabs that you can bend to fit your head to hold it in a little more snug. So it definitely has that. The lace, I would say, is definitely ear to ear so I think you can glue her down and you'd be okay um, let's see how she looks as a side part she's definitely a middle part but okay so if you make her on the side 
turn her to the side, you are gonna get a asymmetrical bob. It's gonna be, um, it's definitely a bob style, but if you turn it to the side, it's not gonna be the same. You're gonna get it shorter on one side and longer on the other. And some people like that, some wigs do come that way. But if you're really, really a side part girl, you can turn her to the side and you can trim this up to meet this side so that it's even. So see, that would be cute. So I like her in the middle because that's how she came and I really think it's cute that way. Yeah. And I do like how you can just kind of let her go and she can go, you know, not just her up like this, but to break her down and she goes back to that cute style. So yeah, I really like this wig. I think she's cute. I will give her two thumbs up. Uh, yeah, so I wanna say thank you so much for coming back to my channel and checking out my little view review on Miss Sela. And uh, make sure that if you're new, that you go ahead and you subscribe so that you can see other wig reviews, other makeup reviews, makeup looks, uh, jewelry, hauls, I do all that good stuff. Uh, make sure that you leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of Miss Sela. What do you think of the color? Do you think she's pretty? I think it looks really good with my makeup. Um, yeah, make sure that you share. Share my videos so that other people will see them. Uh, if you don't share them, YouTube doesn't get them in the algorithm to get them out to other people. So I'm trying to grow my channel. So I really appreciate if you guys share my videos, especially if you like them. Make sure that other people you know see them. So I will see you guys again in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.